It's a familiar sound that Audrey Roberts loves waking up to each morning. They're gorgeous. They sing. They're beautiful song. The grandmother has been feeding magpies in her backyard in Logan, south of Brisbane, for years. I think they're very intelligent and very friendly. There's two of the buggers there. Now. But her friend Rod Shaw, down the road, doesn't like them or the mess they make. When it rains, they come underneath and they sing their heads off and poo all over our furniture. So they're not welcome visitors here. <laughs> Amanda Ridley has been studying the divisive birds for eight years. It's really fascinating that a bird that is so iconic in Australia hasn't had a huge amount of research done on it. So I think we've got a lot more to learn. Her research shows if you wake up to the sounds of a particularly loud and loquacious magpie, it's probably female. We've found that females call a lot more often than males and they call at much higher maximum and minimum frequency. Researchers have also discovered the birds can tell when another magpie is lying and their songs are nearly as common complex as rudimentary human language. They've also found magpies can sing for up to 70 minutes, reaching volumes above 80 decibels, as loud as a lawnmower. Love it or hate it, we'll be hearing the magpie song a lot more often, with breeding season kicking off this month. It means the birds will be swooping, so it's time to keep an eye out to avoid losing one. Breeding season peaks between August and September. Anna Hartley, ABC News.